Hello the internet and welcome to Lawrence Place Space Engineers. Yes, it's another new series and this time I'm having a look at um, uh, another early access game. This is Space Engineers which is, you could sort of think of it as being Minecraft in space perhaps. It's got a lot of the same sort of going around and mining and building things sort of mechanics. And some, part, some parts of it are even based on a similar sort of grid system and I'm about to fly to this asteroid, that's not going to be good for my ship. Uh, so the idea is you fly around your um, your starship, you look for uh, some starship, your, your star system. You fly around the star system looking for various resources and then try and build up bases and you can build ships from there and start mining more effectively by building mining ships and that sort of thing. So there are various resources you have to find. Here's one of them, this is, let's have a look, this is probably ice? Yes, this is ice. And now that's a very valuable one because you need that to actually survive because it's where you get the air you breathe into your suit and the um, and the hydrogen to power both your suit and your spaceship from. So I'm going to grab some of this while I'm here and shove this in storage in my ship. Um, and I'm also going to place a tag down. So it allows you to um, place tags on the map of if you're uh, using your current GPS position um, or solar positioning system, I suppose it perhaps it should be. So we're going to call this Ice 1 because it's the first ice patch I found. And there we go, there's now a tag there. So I'll be able to find it again later should I need to. Let's have a bit more of a look around this uh, asteroid. So the things I'm really looking for at the moment are iron because you need that to make your base out of and cobalt because you need that also need that to make a base and I can never I've never been able to find any cobalt in this game so I believe it's one of the rarer rarer ores which is a bit of a shame because it's sort of the second or possibly third one you end up needing so you'd hope it'd be a little bit more um, common and easy to find but no so well we're gonna have to keep looking the other advantage of tagging the asteroids is that it means you can then tell which ones you've been to when you're looking around trying to find somewhere else to go to. Just dump this ice in here. My spaceship has this convenient cargo container at the back which has loads and loads of space in it. I've never managed to fill one of those up yet. So I can just dump the ice in there and then go off and look for another asteroid to investigate. Those ones look reasonably close, let's go and have a look at them. Now it is possible to have more than one um, type of resource on a single asteroid, but it is quite rare. I've only actually seen it once so far in the, in the, in the time I've been playing. So at the moment I'm just going to head over here and I'll, I'll have a quick scout around these and uh, see, if, see if we can find the things we need. Engines are firing. Okay, they don't seem... Fortunately, it doesn't seem to hurt if you go through the thrust of the engine. This is a rather prickly looking asteroid. Let's, I wonder if it's got anything useful on it. Ooh, what's that? That's more on the, it's poking through to the other side. Nickel. Ah, now nickel is also very useful. You can get nickel from just refining uh, normal rock, uh, but it's not as, but it's probably going to be much more efficient in the long run to get it from the um, from nickel ore itself. There'll be a lot more of it per, per ton of, um, of the ore. So we'll dig up some of this. Full momentary up again. And drop another GPS tag. Okay, that's good. I found technically the most valuable ore because you actually need it to survive. And the fourth most valuable, I suppose. It's the one I've oops. One I've actually needed a few times, or could have used at least. What's that? Oh. Going the wrong way. <laughs> There's quite a lot of momentum in these uh, spacesuits. What's this? What is this? Platinum. Ooh. Now that sounds very valuable and very useful. I've not had any, I've never had a use for that yet because I've not managed to get far enough through the game. Um, but you know, it's worth knowing it's there. So there we go. That's that's an asteroid that has two different materials, two different ores available on it. So. Which is why I continued looking even after I found the um, the nickel on there. So the early game is fairly slow. I could start if I if I found well I could I could start building things r right now already with uh, just using stone and refining that into iron and nickel, and that would allow me to make at least some of the things I need. You can make solar panels out of that um, mostly. You can make few other things out of it. You can't make an, uh, you can make a basic assembly machine, that's more nickel. 
You can't make, but you can't make um, the, the transport tubes for carrying stuff between things, and you can't make a. Or can you make a basic? No, I think you actually need it. For, no, you need cobalt for a basic assembly machine. I think. Any more for any more? The ores are happily quite easy to spot. You get the big coloured splotches on the side of the asteroid. So I don't think I've missed any. I'm expecting cobalt to be a sort of a big obvious blue colour. Let's turn the lights on anyway. There we go. That's better. Helps to see. It helps me see a bit. Um, so I, I think I've not spotted any because I've not found any. Oh, there we go. There's another patch of ore. Like two patches of ore. More, more platinum. Wow. Um, so yeah, I'm finding all of the things I don't really want. There we go, more platinum. I need to keep an eye on my um, oxygen and power and hydrogen levels, which you can see in the bottom left of my screen. Okay, I think that's that one done. That was the one I found the other things on. I haven't looked, checked that one out yet, uh, but that one looks fairly close. Yes, it's moving against the star starfield background, so it must be fairly close. Those are, um, when they start to get low, I need to go back to my uh, respawn pod and, and uh, refuel everything. And if I run, obviously if I run out of oxygen, then I die. If I run out of hydrogen, then I die because I can't fly back to my ship. So I won't die instantly, but I will eventually. If I run out of energy, I'm actually not sure. If I run out of electricity, certainly I can't mine. I don't know whether that would then stop me flying around or not. I haven't actually run out of energy yet, so it's, um, it's a mystery. <laughs> <laughs> but it's the one that goes down fastest when you start actually doing things like like mining and um, constructing. Those use electricity at a very high rate. Nope, there's nothing in this hole. I think this entire asteroid might be um, oreless, which is like rudderless, but even even less useful. It does have a nice hole running through the middle of it there. Let's go through. Let's go through this just for fun. Oh, it's dark in here. How is it darker once I'm inside than when I was outside? Maybe it's an HDR thing, and so when I when I get in, I'm, I can see more of the light at the end of the tunnel. Okay, let's let's GPS tag this one as well, just so I know not to come back to this rock. There we go. Is there anything else nearby worth checking out? No, that looks quite a long way away. It's really difficult to judge distances in this game, uh, which I think is probably quite realistic. I think um, it is difficult to judge distances in space because there's no atmosphere to make things go wibbly. If it's just an arbitrary rock, you don't know how big it is. What would be quite nice would be to have some sort of range finder on one of your, um, I'm not going to say weapons, one of your tools, so you could just sort of ping things with a laser and it would say, this is four kilometres away, this is ten kilometres away, that sort of thing. What have we got here? This one's like nickel again on. Yes, wonderful. Well, at least I'm not going to be short of nickel. Yes, yeah, so I checked these ones. So that's plat that was platinum. Surely I got that one in the middle. What's that? That's something. It's not cobalt. Silver? Oh no, e even more nickel. <laughs> uh, I guess it makes a sort of sense that you'd have um, patches of asteroids that all have the same sort of ores on them because maybe they came from the same sort of thing being blown up and ripped apart. So they're all together. More platinum. Ooh. <laughs> that was worryingly close. Most of the times I've died in this game, it's been from flying and not looking where I'm going and going whack into a rock like I almost did then. So <laughs> let's try not to do that. Back to the pod. I'll refuel and then we can go off and find and, and investigate another another set of asteroids. Oh, and I can empty my inventory as well. Okay, all of the ones in this sort of local cluster are done. That one looks reachable. I'll say hard to judge distances. Oh, I've got to refuel. <laughs> I'll do that when I um, when I get there. I should have plenty of oxygen just to fly across here. The ship is actually capable of keeping itself pressurised, but I keep leaving the doors open because I'm lazy. The ship also takes quite a long time to get up to speed and to slow down. Um, but never mind. I think I, I think it'll probably stop before it gets to this rock. 
this completely barren and useless rock. Yeah, this is actually a complete... This is just literally a ball of stone floating in space, I think. A mostly hollow ball of stone, in fact. Ooh, it's got iron in it, and ice. Okay, I take it back. It's not completely barren. Um, iron is very useful. I'm glad I found some. That might mean this, this may well end up being my um, uh, starting point, especially since it's got iron and ice. Where was the ice? It's around here somewhere. I saw it on my scanner. It's not ideal because the iron's in a weird place on the inside. And the ice is apparently buried. But it's the best I've found yet. There we go, that looks like ice. Tag this as well, especially as it's the first. Oh no, it's the second ice I've found. But it is down a bit of a tunnel, and the iron is inside the um, inside the hollow asteroid. Which, isn't, which, as I say, is not ideal. It makes it a bit more of a faff to get at it. However, it's the best iron patch I've found yet, because it's the only iron patch I've found so far. So, yeah, we'll have to see. I should have gathered up some of the iron instead of the ice, because I haven't got any of that yet. Bone as well. Let's do this before I forget. So this is how you recharge yourself. You just go back, you go up to your survival kit, and then you can grab more hydrogen, oxygen, electric and then gradually electricity. And health if you've lost any of it. Okay, another rock. That looks suitable. Let's go and have a look at these ones. To an extent, I don't really mind how far apart they are, as long as I can find them, because well, I'll, I'll set up a a mining colony building and stuff on the on an asteroid that's got a decent amount of rock. Uh, iron even. Decent amount of iron as long as I've managed to find some cobalt that I could just chuck in the ship and carry over there, then it'll be okay. But I desperately need to find that cobalt before I can really, before I can do anything too much with it, so before I can actually get, get down to building a base properly. And that's what's always stymied me in the past. Yeah, you can get, you can get a certain distance, you can put up some solar panels, you can build a, um, a basic assembly machine, especially if you harvest your bits of your ship to make some of that stuff. But without the cobalt, you can't you can't really get your base up and going, so this time I'm going to try and actually find all the resources I need before I get started. At least there's a decent number of rocks here, so hopefully I'll be able to find something. That might be misplaced optimism. I have to admit, I'm starting to wonder if I just don't know what cobalt looks like, and it's hard to spot for some reason. And I think I've seen screenshots, and it looks like, basically as you'd expect, a sort of a dark blue, like all the other ores, but dark blue. I'm trying to use, I've got the drill out so that I can use the ore scanner on it, but the ore scanner only has a range of about 25 or 50 meters or something, so it's it's kind of useless really for deep space scouting when you're typically going to be at least a few hundred meters away from a rock. I think that is completely devoid of ore. Let's try and have a look at this one as well. Oh, there's some on top there. That looks like iron ore to me. And there's something else right next to it, that's handy. What have we got here? That's definitely iron. What are you? Sil iron and silicon, okay. Let's tag them. And then the one just over here. Bump here. I'm gonna pick up some iron while I'm here. This probably isn't necessary, because I suspect there's a good chance this will be where I set my first base up because it's got iron and it's got silicon and there's a, a good a good pair and plenty of rock around as well not that I've ever got remotely close to running out to be, I've, I've never got remotely close to running out of any resource um, big or small Oop, there's some more iron down there yes this is definitely a good place because <clears throat> once I do exhaust that iron patch which I'm bound to do if I get started if I do actually get started here this, this is this the same patch what? I'm very confused. 
Oh, no, I'm being an idiot. That iron 20 wasn't saying I'm 20 meters away from... Uh, I wasn't saying I'm 20 meters away from one of my tags. It was saying there's some iron 20 meters away. Hence, it's yellow. So that's that one. Let's have a look at this one now. It is actually darker inside when you're inside the caves looking around them than it is when you're outside looking into them. That's ridiculous. So if I go back out here, suddenly the cave lightens up and I can see in it. <laughs> Who designed this game engine? Oh, there's a little bit of iron over here. Ow. As I say, that's usually how I end up dying. <laughs> oh, I have done this rock. That's the one with silicon and the iron. Where's my odd? There it is. Have I done all the ones in this area now? I think I have. Or at least all the decent sized ones. Okay, this is getting um, a little bit frustrating, I have to admit. I think I'm going to call that for an episode. I've, I've got enough footage there that with a bit of um, tweaking and playing, I'm sure I can make a suitable amount of uh, video. So, thank you for watching. I'll, I'll keep looking, you never know. I might, I might be able to find some, um, some useful minerals if I, if I just keep at it for a little bit longer. Um, I hope you'll join me for the next episode where... Hopefully I will have found some cobalt and will be happy to come back to one of these um, rocky areas and start setting up a new base. Uh, so yeah, well, uh, I'll see you then, and I hope you've enjoyed this episode so far, or this series so far, I guess. And um, yeah, I, mean, I like space engineers. It seems to be, the idea seems to be good fun. It's just a bit frustrating that I'm having so much trouble getting past step two, I guess. Step one being to get sort of a, a little bit of a base set up, get some power and so on. Step two being to get actually actually requiring the cobalt. So I'll keep trying. You never know, I might get there sooner or later. And um, I'll report back for the, for the next episode. Thanks for watching and I'll see you later.